Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here today is another What's in the Mail, a delivery from Cyprus from Stuart McRobert, the author of the famous Hard Gainer magazine and also the Brawn and Beyond Brawn series of books. Now, I've been in contact recently with Stuart um, after I wished to find Big Bench and Big Arms. He sent me, if you recall recently, two copies of Big Arms and I also received a copy of Brawn, the original book written by Stuart McRobert on abbreviated training. Um, however, he actually doesn't have at the moment, he can't seem to either find or he doesn't have any original copies of Big Bench, so he only sent me a photocopy, um, although it still looks like a nice booklet. Have a quick look. He sells Big Arms and Big Bench, this copy of it, not the original, for I think $15 each. Um, and this includes postage. And I think it goes through three different um, programs, yeah, from memory, from what I remember. Uh, it's 15, 20 pages long. It's probably going to be a very quick read looking forward to it. Um, obviously these are specialization routines uh, that is big arms and big bench and these specialization routines according to Stuart uh, should be performed any type of specialization should be performed once you develop an appreciable amount of strength so true I guess fundamental um, structure and foundation of strength that is the 300 on the bench press, the 400 pound on the squat, and the 500 pound on the deadlift. Um, and I think it's a really good measure of strength. If you've achieved these numbers, and I almost have, then one can really think of, uh, I think, bodybuilding at that stage. Um, that's my own personal um, opinion, and that's the opinion of many of these abbreviated training um, authors or gurus that one has to have an appreciable foundation uh, because if you think about it, if you're going to start a specialization for your arms for example, are you really going to gain much from curling 10 kgs, you know, 10, 10 kilos per arm? Not much, but let's say you've got some serious strength from deadlifting, squatting and benching and you start specializing on arms and you pick up a 20 kilo dumbbell, 25 kilo dumbbell, 30 kilo dumbbell well, I'm pretty sure your arms are going to explode pretty quickly because you have incredible strength uh, in your bones and in your ligaments and tendons. Therefore, you have a structure which to build the muscle on. It only makes sense. It's like saying you're going to build a, a big building you know, on a wooden frame. Well, I'm sorry, the building is going to collapse. But if you build a building on a steel frame, on a very strong steel frame, then you can really put on some mass on that building, right? Same thing with the human body. Uh, so specialization depending on your foundation of strength. Really good little booklets and I can't really, can't wait to read these and, and review them properly for you. Uh, Stuart was kind enough to send me three issues of Hard Gainer on top of that. This is issue 34 with uh, Clarence Ross on the cover. What a classic, classic uh, um, photo this is. I've actually seen this photo in uh, Muscle Power. I think it's, it's 1950, late 1940s or early 1950s uh, on Muscle Power, Joe Wade's Muscle Power. Um, anyway, uh, he also sent me issue 1 and 2, of which he only has copies of, right? He only has photocopies of, um, but he wasn't very happy with these issues, he told me. They weren't really reflecting what Hard Gainer magazine was really like, which is why he also sent me... Uh, number 34. Um, I'm planning actually on getting the whole collection. Um, now, in regards to magazines, it's something I've wanted to talk about. I don't, I don't get Flex. I don't subscribe to it. I don't subscribe to the modern Iron Man magazine or Muscle and Fitness or whatever there is out there. I think there's still muscular development as well. I don't subscribe to any of these magazines because they promote. Um, drug bloated bodybuilders and, and or I should say drug abusers really. Um, I don't 
I don't subscribe to these because I will not gain any decent information from them, full stop. However, if you are looking for magazines nowadays that promote natural bodybuilding as was done in the silver and, and, and early golden era of bodybuilding, so I'm saying from the 1930s all the way till the 1960s and 70s, I would say that Hard Gainer, of which there are approximately 90 issues, I think it's 86 issues in total, is a good source of information. Um, they're still available on Stuart McRoberts' website. I think it's www.hardgainer.com. There are other two or three magazines that I really consider worth subscribing to. One is Health and Strength, uh, run by Joanne, uh, Joanne Feezy, I think her name is. Um, it's, a, it's still running, Health and Strength. It's the oldest running magazine uh, on physical culture, and it's still available. I'm actually a subscriber of that and uh, a good friend of some of the authors. Um, another magazine I would subs I would still subscribe to, or uh, yeah, I guess is uh, is Milo. Milo, I think, is still available. I think, um, and that's through Iron Mind IronMind dot com www dot IronMind dot com, which also supply a large variety of grip um, equipment. A really excellent website. Uh, for developing grip strength, but yeah, they also have a Milo magazine, an excellent magazine. Another one would still be uh, the currently still running Powerlifting USA, um, and some that have now stopped uh, their magazines. These are the Steel Tip and Iron, the Iron Game. I think it was called the Iron Game. These unfortunately don't run anymore. Uh, the Steel Tip was supposed to the Steel Tip was supposed to be an excellent magazine that ran, I think, in the 90s and 80s, as well as Iron Iron Game. Uh, these really uh, took over, uh, I guess, when bodybuilding went into the drug scene. These magazines really uh, tried to keep full body weight training and the progressive resistance method. Of full body weight training and abbreviated training I guess of three times a week they try to keep these methods alive and these magazines so hard gainer health and strength um, Milo I guess powerlifting USA and the now uh, no more running um, the steel tip and the iron game uh, six recent magazines that I really consider worth looking for and reading about. These are more modern from the 80s, 90s and now 2000s but I highly recommend reading these. So um, anyway that was a little bit, little bit of a long uh, what's in the mail. I did rave on a bit about magazines. It's something that I haven't covered in the past but I thought I'd let you know what magazines I would recommend reading nowadays and you can subscribe to some of these still. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.